Hi, I'm Sue. Hello, I'm Mark. And together we are Nuts, Nuts on, on Tour. Tour. So right, this is about take five at the moment. Welcome to this episode 55. This is another in the Van Other Collective. So this is a collaboration video. I shall put the uh, put the bits and pieces up around. All the labels. All yeah, the labels. People's... Well, it's actually, actually, thank you very much, Mark. Not me, Mark, the other Mark. Yeah. He's now done a lovely little video. So there should be a, a little video playing. I'm not sure where yet, but there'll be a, a little video playing somewhere. Probably have it up here, yeah, side of me. Wherever. <laughs> I'll move out of the way. This is another of the Vanover Collective. This is this week. This oh, month. This month. Is actually the vid. Well, the equipment you use to make your videos for vlogging or YouTube. Yes, all the equipment we use. So we. I've been dreading this one. Ex professional photographer. <laughs> Yeah, you should see the equipment we've got, but we don't actually use it all for video. Mo most of it is stills cameras because she was a wedding photographer, so yeah. most of it's still cameras but rather than video. video. But she does do a lot of video, so yes, I mean, I've got like 9, no. 10, 11, 12, <laughs> yeah. 15. Even the big DSLRs do video, should yeah. you want it, but they're a bit heavy to hold with a great lens on. Yeah, too many cameras. <laughs> My arm same, I've got a selection of drones, so yeah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> hey ho! <laughs> Please take the time to view all the others in the collective. No, I'm getting attacked now by a dog. Hello, big dog. Yes. Please take the time to view all the others in the collective. Have a look at their vids. Some will be a lot more interesting than ours. Enjoy, go watch, go have a look. But first, watch this one. Hi, I'm Sue, one half of Nuts on Tour. Today's challenge for the video is a Van Other Collective video and it's the equipment we use to make videos. And the easiest thing is I, I'm going to show you what I use and then I shall set my camera up and I'll show you what Mr. Nut uses for the videos. Um, right, the first item I've got is, it's a DJI Action 3, this one. And it has, at the moment, it's not on, but I've got the facility here for the microphone and a microphone just on the cable at the moment. Normally some, one of us is wearing it. And it's got the old invisible handle, should it be required. But uh, that's what I use. Nice big screen on the back so I can see everything that's going on. Plus there's two on the front, one that you can see what's going on and the other one is what is actually filming. Does photos, does video, 4K, 1080p, all that. There are, with it, there's a battery in it at the moment. We, I have three batteries. This is the spare, spare two. That also charges it. And this actually charges it. As you can see, the green lights are on, so they're ready to use. You just slip them back in here and plug it in and away you go. The other thing I've got, this is what the mics actually go in for the same reason. As you can see, it's lit up and the, that mic is green because that's charged. You pop that back in there, that microphone back in there. You have to take off the fluffy cat, mouse, rat, whatever you'd like to call it. Gerbil. Gerbil. And they all go in there and again, that charges them up. They travel like that, so they're out of the way. Should one decide, because this one can go underwater, should one decide to take it underwater, you have a floating handle, which uh, when it's attached, it actually bobs that way up because the camera's heavy, so it will actually hang upside down, but that's actually on the surface so you can see it. We also, I also have a harness, which I've used when I've been out on my bike, 
we've got all the connectors that fit in here and you wear that it sort of it normally ends up sort of somewhere about here or, or just underneath and that sort of goes around your midriff and over your shoulders it's actually that way up so it goes like that over your shoulders as a harness and that's sort of so your hands free when you're biking or even walking if you wished you know anything that you're doing like you say i actually have a mic on at the moment but this is the one that belongs to mr nuts pocket i have a i have a phone don't ever use it for videoing not for what we use actually on youtube yet it's the the big fold four so it's nice big screen but like i say i've never used it for videoing you know when people are using it because everything's back to front but uh that's that can do videos also back here oh, is the bag or a case one of the cases which has got all the spares in another handle cleaning cloths and ones that you can actually stick on dashboards or windows there's numerous accessories in here there's another one as i pull the bag to bits there's another one here which actually you can wear on your wrist another connector that actually goes around your wrist that one that's actually a wrist one and there are no doubt somewhere in here now i've dismantled the whole shebang there's ones that attach to your hat there's everything that might be the hat one actually yep that's the hat one you got your connector there and that goes on your head <laughs> on your head or on a hat if you're cycling or riding. riding or a hard hat or whatever or bicycle hat they all but everything's in this kit it's, it's pretty good it Where is, is this is a what they call newer i think it's newer in it newer near newer newer might be newer and that's this kit is just literally accessories for any camera it's not not just for this camera we can put the pocket on some of these accessories if you want and other things like that so yeah this this kit is universal this kit my case that i normally carry this in is this is for what do you say look for the action three <laughs> with our little old logo on and this case is a little bit more sort of specific cut out for these things these sort of things they they actually slide into the right slots when this is all broken down the camera goes in that section and then there's different fittings that actually takes the fittings that are actually holding the camera on and the arm um, handle bit goes across the top here so yeah and i normally put this this goes up here out of the way zips in so I know where everything is and it all shuts down and it's it's a hard one it actually will protect that's that's semi hard but this is hard for actually protecting your camera should you drop it in its bag and I think well that actually covers all my bits hiya I'm Mark the other half of nuts on tour so bits of kit that we use i have a couple of drones uh, i'm our drone pilot i used to be a drone pilot for work that's one of the tasks i was challenged with we use this which is a mavic air 2 uh, uh, i've got my code on it i have my pilot's code on it uh, i've got my advanced license so I can fly it with crowds and all sorts of people around me and that. Uh, nice camera, does 4K. Again, it has a little slot there that you can do and a slot there that you can put the micro SD card in. It has a set of four batteries, quite easy to change. Just slot them in and click them into place. You can that way up you can use them off your phone 
Uh, it will eat your phone batteries, so we got one of those. I'm used to flying them from having separate controllers. Our works ones are slightly bigger, so we have separate controllers for them. So, uh, yeah, we fly it with this, which is a DJI Pro controller. It gives you, uh, it's got a bigger screen, well, not bigger than our phones, but it gives you a nice big screen. You've got all the information on the screen when it's fired up. It works really, really well. Again, none of this is sponsored. This is all stuff that we've got for us. Uh, Sue used to be a professional photographer, so uh, now retired. <laughs> so, as Sue already said, uh, we've both got the Samsung Z Fold 4s. Uh, as you get older and uh, need these things, uh, having a nice big screen, very, very handy. So, uh, yeah, we can do film with that. We can do video with that. There's a frightening shot, yes. Yeah, so uh, very, very useful. Like I said, as you get older, having more rear, the little screen, yeah, you can see okay. Having the double screen, I find very, very useful. Uh, my kit that I carry around at the moment, we're actually filming on my pocket. I've got a DJI pocket there. See, that was Lady Nut. So this is the case I carry around with me. This normally has everything in it that we do for shows. If you've seen me at shows, you've seen what I carry. I have, I didn't get the whole kit that Sue got, but I have one for when we're out on as bikes that I use. Uh, when we do shows and I go inside other vans, some of them can be quite dim. Uh, not exactly dark, but quite quite dim when you're inside the van. So what I've got is an LED light. Ah, normally my mic sits on the bottom. My camera sits on there, which is up there at the moment. And then another battery pack fits on there. And then you have things like, depending on what color it is, you can have the, there you go, the little inserts. So you can put whites and diffusers and yeah, things like that, rather than have just a stark white light. You can run this off rechargeables. We do like our rechargeables. All, most, not, I won't say all the gear we've got, but most of the gear we've got, we run off rechargeable batteries. There's a, there you are. There's a little set of six Duracell rechargeables that fill that up and keep me going. And then I have, again, we've got three of these DJI mics, two for Sue's camera, one for mine. Little kit with the adapter piece on it for the pocket and the wide angle lens that's in there. That's the cover for the case. A selection of adapters and screws and spare bolts and stuff like that. A set of... Um, ND filters. So if you're in bright sunlight, sometimes everything's just too stark white. So with those, there's four varying, varying degrees of greyness. So you can take longer shots. Very good for doing scenic stuff and artistic stuff. Again, same as Sue. Have one for sticking to the side of windows or tables or flat surfaces so I can leave the camera set up where it is. Uh, cleaning cloths. I think that's about it for my kit. I also have uh, a stick, which we'll show you in a minute because it's actually sat on the table and we use a ring light. If you use a normal house light, you'll find you get, you get shadows under the eyes, under the nose and all that lot. So we actually have a ring light over there, which you can probably see in my glasses if I look like that. And uh, that comes it gives you a nice bright light for illuminating your face. Here comes Lady Nut and she's now, I'll cut this in. You will see that I use the Pocket 3. I have a Smart Tree uh, extension pole and the tripod on the bottom.
So with this, I can unclick that and extend it. Have that sat on the floor and it's at a nice height for recording like that. Yeah. Again, our ring light, that's the wide angle lens, it's just magnetic, it just sticks on. Yeah. And then we have the ring light, so I have what's called a gorilla grip. This is a flexi grip, so I can wrap it round things. Literally, it's bendable, so I can wrap it round the. If if I want to, I can wrap it round a, a set of railings or handlebars of the bike or anything like that. And of course, you can take a shot literally through there. So if you can imagine, if you take, if you can imagine, if you take that, I can be quite. Yeah, if you put that in front, there you are, that's actually the ring going in front of the camera. There you are, I'm now nice and brightly lit. Of course, you can see that because I've got my glasses on. Mm -hmm. If I did it like that without, you would see it's nice and brightly lit. I've kept that in the frame so you can still see the white around it. Two normally, circles in your eyeballs. Yeah, so. normally it would be like that. It gives you a very nice view. As for what software we use, Hmm, there's various out there. I have tried a couple of other ones, but I use VideoPad Professional, which is currently 9.07. It's done by NCH Software in America. I find it quite easy to use. It's more or less self-explanatory. Uh, literally, you just drag your clips in, drag your clips into there, drop them in place, drop them into your timeline. You can then add different sound effects, different video effects, green screen. You can put your click for subscribe. Computer I'm using, I know everybody and everybody who's everybody uses iPads. And I'm all right with that. They're fine. I've got a Asus ZenBook. I like this. It's twin screen. I don't know if you can see. You've got a second screen there, main screen there. If I want to bring another piece in, I can go down to that screen, pick it, bring it, drop it on that one. None of this messing about changing screens, literally just drag and drop. I just find them so easy to work with. Like I said, this is not uh, sponsored in any way, shape or form. All this gear we've bought ourselves for when Sue had the business. So this is, uh, yeah. It's a nice wide bright screen you can use that as a mouse mat if you uh, um, uh, a mouse pad if you want uh, infrared camera it just works well with me plus it's an ssd drive so it's uh, not quite lightning fast but not far off so that's the setup and the software that we use being a retired professional photographer you can imagine the kit that we do have and just here in a case. Oh, if I drop it, is all the DSLRs that we used for our professional photography. We used to be wedding photographers and portraits and events and things like that. Um, these are, would you believe, all video recorders should you use them as that of course these are all the flash guns that we use with the kit the cat the uh there's 7d is the sporty one and like i say they all do video just never never used them as for video to be honest but i have to give that a try and just see what the quality is like imagine i should have thought for these ones it would be quite good and then we also have when I can get in the box all the lenses that are relevant for wedding photography you tend to just use a couple you're not actually working that far away but we have got some lenses in here that are up to 500 
So we could be stood in the next field. But like I say, that's all the photography side of it. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video and I hope you enjoy the rest of the collective's videos. And I'm just going to say here that, you know, if you haven't subscribed to any of the other collective, please do. It'd be much appreciated by them and us. And if you haven't subscribed to us, it would be lovely if you did that too. But like I say, there's there's only 14 of us, I believe, in the collective. So it would be nice if, if you watch our video and enjoy it, watch the others and subscribe to them as well. It would be much appreciated. We all have different ideas. So yes. we'll, all, we'll all have different gear, no doubt. Some, some will be the same, you know, there's only so many cameras out there, but yeah. what you use with what and how you use it, it's all interesting, it's all good stuff. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you're thinking of doing the same at some point in the future, to see what people use, gives you a good idea what's out there. I will leave a list below. I'll try and keep it short. What in, uh, leave a link. list of what's in the video. We, yeah. I won't put all the DSLRs and they uh, no. don't need all that. Lot. No, no, but I will put the list of like the ring light and the mics and all mm -hmm. that lot in. Yeah. So, uh, and if you want any information on anything that we do, have seen in the video, anything you've seen in the video, anything that we use, pass comment below, and I shall uh, I shall and get back to you and answer you. And yes, we shall endeavour to answer you. Yes. <laughs> tell you what you've uh, what it is where we got it from etc etc yes. I mean to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think any video equipment be it DJI whoever is cheap because they're not but neither are cameras these days I want to say you can you can pick up a little instamatic camera you can do it on your phone you don't have to jump in and buy a five six thousand pound camera you know five six hundred yeah. to a thousand pound camera just to do vlogging no. you can start off quite happily vlogging on your phone exactly yeah if I get into it start doing it that way then progress from there yeah if you enjoy yeah. it if maybe you... that's probably the best thing actually yeah. start with your phone because everybody's got one that can probably do video every phone start say, there a, and then before you spend any money <laughs> If you don't enjoy yeah. it, you're not wasting any money. I mean, uh, there's, there's new, there are new versions of cameras coming out all the time. My, the, the one that we're actually filming this particular clip on is my little DJI pocket. They've now brought out a new pocket that has a twist and twisty twisty it's got a slightly screen. Bigger screen. So a bigger screen and it twists round so you can see the actual landscape and portrait mm -hmm. on it. Uh, you use the... I use the DJI, DJI Action 3. 3, and, and they've just brought the 4 out. We've ordered one of those. We're waiting for that to arrive. That's your, that's your go-to camera. So yeah. yes, And I mean, they are the so tiny. They are such little cameras. Mm. The pocket is... Well, the pocket's quite small, actually, if you haven't got the uh, extended battery on it, isn't it? The pocket is roughly 180... Well, you'll, you'll, see, you'll have seen yeah. it in the video... It's roughly like 180, 200 mil by 25 mil by 25 mil. That's with the extra battery pack on the bottom. Mm -hmm. One thing, I, one accessory I will suggest that if you get in a pocket, get the one with the extra, get one with the extra battery pack on. The, the increased time that you have, if you're out all day filming, it prevents you uh, trolling around. One thing we didn't put on is battery packs. Yeah, mm -hmm. we use rechargeable battery packs. That's actually running the ring light at the moment. Haven't gone into them because there is such <laughs> an amount of them out there. I mean, at the moment, this one is pocket size. I use that. I normally keep that in my pocket for just topping the phones up. If I need to recharge the uh, need to recharge the furry mouse or anything like that, it's ideal. But when we're in the bus, we've got the EcoFlow Max Power Power Station. Yeah, we use that. Yeah. Okay. EcoFlow Pro. It's not a Max, it's a Pro. Pro. <laughs> See? I, yes. <laughs> Just say you've got an EcoFlow. Yeah, one of them. Story. <laughs> yeah, or the Blue Etty or whatever. Yeah, we've 
got more than enough of them to do but when we're out and about that one's brilliant yes because like you say it's small enough it carry it in your pocket yeah. or if you had a handbag in the handbag or a man bag <laughs> yeah. equally yes. quality for men mm. <laughs> on that note yeah. hope you enjoyed past comment thumbs up subscri subscribe it'll be there subscribe 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 ring the bell see you in the next one bye bye